The Administration Console controls the roles and privileges available to users in redistricting. When you log in, the admin menu displays. It is divided into three sections, Users, Roles, and Privileges. We'll focus on managing users. As an admin, you can view all users in your deployment by clicking View Users. In this table, you can see all users in your organization who have an Esri redistricting account, including their username, full name, and email. For each user, there is the option to edit their role and privileges or to delete that user. Let's try adding a new user. In the Add User panel, we'll fill out the details for the new user and select the appropriate role. Citizen role is appropriate for most users. Then we'll click Save. Next, we'll edit an existing user by selecting the user and clicking Edit. In the Update User window, we can edit the first and last name, email address, reset the password, and update the roles. We'll first reset this user's password, then update this user's role. We can add available roles or remove the current role. Now we'll save our edits, and then return to the main menu. We can also manage roles for our organization. By clicking View Roles, we can see all roles available for assignment and edit each role's privileges. To create a new role with specific privileges, we can click Add Role. To view all available privileges and their descriptions, we can click View Privileges. Custom roles can be created using this method. This concludes our workflow on managing users and roles within the administration console.